Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com or Monkey Mimi on the on the forums. And I was asked by a forum member to um, how to actually take the uh, the wordage or the fonts here and create an outline and a different size stone around and do a filled in the middle of the the font here or the 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 letter. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video. It's just a little easier to show everybody how to do it and then you can reference back to it if you need to. So I'm working in WinPC 2010 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my F and go up to my toolbar, come about halfway down and hit my outline um, menu and that pops open a nice transformation box here. Um, for my thickness, for my outline I want it to be at 0.20 which is also a good size for rhinestone decals or sequence decals too. Um, my number of outlines, I'm just going to select one for this and on my, I want to have my outline actually checked in my outline inline boxes. So check your outline. I have red as my color for my outline so it, I can really see it well against the blue. You can select what, whatever color you want and then um, select the check mark and that will make an outline that's a nice size outline and I'm going to go ahead and go to the X. I selected that and I'm just going to go ahead, all my settings are the same and click the the mark there, um, check mark and that's how we do the outline part of it. Now to stone it I'm going to go ahead and select my red color on the F, grab my gem on the bottom of my toolbar, and we're going to want this to be a, a 16SS stone. So we come up three sizes so it gives it a lot of leeway in our, our templates, are cut big enough then so that we can go ahead and we can put the, the stones in, have them be all right side up and pull them out real easy. So I, I'm going up three sizes from a 16 to a 19, and it's an outline, so I'm just going to click that, and that puts a stone, I'm going to do the same thing thing with the other one and then on the blue part we want that to be a fill. We're going to go with a smaller stone and that is going to be a 10 SS stone so I'm going to go up three again, three sizes and that's going to give me um, a nice size to be able to pull out again. So I've got the 13 marked, I've got fill marked and I'm just going to hit apply and that will put the stones inside. Again I'll do it with the X and go ahead and do that. Now the only thing I would probably change at all on here would be would I probably would um, come up and come in and grab my lasso tool and grab that. Let's just make sure that's all surrounded good. Grab that and um, go ahead and duplicate another line of stones and bring those stones down. And I didn't grab this so let's go ahead and do that and duplicate it and bring those on down in and have them fit in so it looks just a little bit better you know on that bottom and I could space that a little bit better there too but um, that just gives you a visual on how to do it and I would do probably the X to just move that around a little bit add another row of stone on there so that's how you do it that's how you make your inline li line and your outline oh and we forgot that one so let's go back and that's an outline one so we'll go to our 19 size and just the outline there we go and put a couple in there so that's how it works, and if you need any other help at all with WinPC Sign, um, figuring out how to work with it, I'd be glad to help anybody figure out how to work with it. Just let me know, and I'll make a little video and show you how to do it.